Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Paula, also known as The Snare Garden on social media. I will put links in the description box below where you can find me. I also have an Etsy shop, Ether Faith, where I sell primarily hand dyed linen for cross stitching. This is my May vlog. I will share a couple of walks that we have done recently with you, including a visit to a beautiful bluebell woodland, and then I will come back and talk about my project.
welcome back. I have some cross stitch projects to share and one crochet project so I'll start with that. I am crocheting the Neat Ripple Blanket by Lucy of Attic 24 and I'm using this yarn that I bought in Iceland a few years ago. This is a fingering weight yarn and I'm using a 3.25 millimeter hook. Last month I finished at about this point, so I haven't done too much this month. I've been doing lots of gardening. It's a very busy time in the garden. And as you can see, it's getting quite big. And it's a single width bed, I would say is held double at the moment. I hope to finish that in May but something else might get in the way. The first cross stitch I have to share is this one by Stitchy Princess from the Ukraine. And I stitched this on my 32 count sand I've used a mixture of the called for colours and I've substituted these ones. And these are all DMC and Anchor from Stash. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish this one yet. My next project is by Jeanette Douglas. Each month, Jeanette is very kindly publishing a free mini bouquet pattern. They can all be stitched together as a sampler or individually, and I'm doing them individually as little lavender sachets to fill them with my own homegrown lavender that I dry each year. This is on 32 count quartz, which I have dyed. And I've changed the colours completely this month. I particularly like how these all go together. And I've added some little beads into the centres of the flowers. Next I decided I would like to carry on stitching these. These are the Love Notes by Brenda Gervais of With Thy Needle and Thread. For Valentine's Day I had stitched the Be Mine and I have now completed both of these two. Originally I was going to put it away for next February but I decided I wanted to carry on with them. And there's the Be Mine and then I stitched the love stamp and love you a latte. This is, is my 40 count linen that I've dyed. I've been stitching on 40 count a lot recently and I've left space for the other two designs and I will stitch them all before I cut these out. Try not to waste any of the linen. Next I have Quaker Snowflakes by Hello from Liz Matthews and I am stitching it on the blue background using the cool four colours which are DMC. And I've almost finished this one. I hope to have this finished today because today is the last day of April. And as you can see, it's mostly in the white with the 
trees will be in this pale khaki colour. There's three more trees and there's a little brown bird. And this is my 40 count night sky. This will be finished as a framed piece, I think. And these trees don't take very long to do at all, so I should be able to get all of this done today. And the reason I would like to get this finished is because I have some plans for mania. Now I have gone backwards and forwards about whether to do mania. And then I suddenly had this idea that I will do a just nan mania. Because, oops, I think I can show them like this. I bought these second hand. Now, these four, I believe, may well have originally been complementary charts when you bought the charm that went with them. But I bought them as a bundle with the Sleeping Angel because it had its charm. As you can see, I've been writing on them. I don't usually write on my patterns, but I'm trying to stitch these from stash and I was looking at what the anchor equivalents would be. Having said that, I did go and buy some of the colours. I just found myself in Hobbycraft, like you do. And I also have a couple of other Just Nan. Excuse me, reaching over. And I have this very old pack of even weave cotton. When I used to do cross stitching quite a number of years ago. And this came in, or with the Needlecraft and Cross Stitch collection, you could purchase this pack to finish some of the cross stitch designs in the pack. And some of these colours are the colours I will need for the Just Nan, so I will use those. I didn't buy very many charts this month because I bought quite a few last month at market. That might be a slight understatement. But my Christmas present from my son arrived. My son was very generous at Christmas time and he gave me an Etsy voucher and I spent it on this exclusive for Homespun Needlework, which is a group on Facebook. And as soon as I saw this chart, I just fell in love with it. And the kit comes with the ribbon and the week's dye work, 36 count beige. and all of the colours and this very darling little little waxer that is made by Stacy's daughter Stacy also very kindly offered a free PDF from her website. That was so hard to choose. And I chose Jack's house. But then having seen Jack's house, I realized there were so many other beautiful ones I wanted. And so I just ordered two more charts. 
from Peakside Needleworks. Just loved this strawberry. This witch. And I do love some Halloween stitching. And this butternut house pin keep. I won't be stitching the Stacey Nash ones just yet because I want to do Mania, which I'm going to do as Just Nan. And I also have three other long-term whips. I have this one. This is So Eat Repeat by Pantini Pantini that I started last spring. And that one is on 32 count sand as well. I have Flowers Feed the Soul. I think it's just called Feed the Soul, but that is what the Flowers Feed the Soul is part of the saying that will go there. And this is by Stitches Through the Years. This is on a 40 count that I've dyed. And I'm using a mixture of DMC and Anchor from Stash. I'm using the cool four colours on the Pantini Pantini. If I didn't do Mania, I could finish this in May. This is why I was going backwards and forwards as to whether to do Mania, but I can't resist. Maybe my challenge will be to work some more on this one, as well as the Just Nan. What do you think I should do first? Finish this or do the Just Nan? Let me know in the comments. What should I do for Mania? See, I'm still wavering. And finally, I have this one to finish. This is Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais on the 36 count platinum by Zweigart. I believe I'm using all of, or most of the called four colours. I had a whiter shade there, but the house is all the called four colours. And I really would like to stitch on this as well. Maybe I'll surprise myself and do a little bit of all of them. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if you what you think I should do with my mania this year. I will post my progress throughout the month on my Instagram. So please come and join me there as well. And I will see you again at the end of the month. Bye.